Hi, I'm Andrew Quinn, the Daily Records Westminster reporter, and I'm joined today by Tracy Gilbert, the new Labour MP for Edinburgh, North and Leith. Um, we're here in Liverpool for the Labour Party conference. Um, so, Tracy, can you just tell us a little bit first about what you did before you were an MP? Yeah, sure. I was the Regional Secretary for Usdon Scotland, and prior to that, I worked in local government. I was a housing officer uh, for Edinburgh City Council. Okay, there we go. So quite a decorated career. Well, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go see. in, we'll do, so, do some questions okay. now. So first of all, perhaps the most difficult, Celtic or Rangers? Neither. Neither. I live in Edinburgh. So well, <laughs> heart, hearts or hibs then? Uh, <laughs> I'm not really a huge football oh, star, but obviously hibs. Hibs because they're in the constituency. Because it's to my constituency, but uh, I, I support Scotland. Yeah, I mean, in international games, but beyond that, I'm not really a yeah. huge football fan. So. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, and would you have a rolling sausage or a rolling scone? Oh, sausage probably. And uh, do you have sauce on it? Do you have red, brown? Brown on sausage. Oh, really? Yeah, See, brown I would on sausage. Be, I would always be red sauce. Uh, but yeah, it's the um, West Coast thing. Is yes, it? yes, it might be. Right, some kind of politics questions okay. now. Who, who do you think was better Prime Minister, Tony Blair or Gordon Brown? Oh, they were both e equally magnificent. Like, it's great just to be back in power again, isn't it? So, yeah. I mean, Gordon Brown is just... I went to see him during the festival uh, and he's just so immense. So with the Scottish connection, I'd probably, if I had to pick one, yeah, so you... I'd, I'd ebb on the side of Gordon, but they're both fantastic. Brothers. Although Ed Edinburgh born and Edinburgh educated, Tony Blair. Yes, yes, but yeah, uh, I yeah. still think that Gordon, what he did in terms of the banking crisis mm. and, and international development, um, was absolutely world class. And uh, so who, who do you think was a, a better first minister, Alex Salmond <gasps> or Nicola Sturgeon? Oh. These questions. <laughs> These questions. Um, I met Alex Salmon when I was an organiser with the Trade Union Movement when um, one of the sites was shutting down and he was uh, fantastic with the mm. reps and really supportive at that time to the members. So I never met Nicola, so oh. I would have to I'd have yeah. to punt for Alex. And uh, this one could get you in a bit of bother. Um, <sighs> would you go Jackie Bailey or Anas Sarva? You have to choose. Oh, one. I'm not choosing that. <laughs> what are you trying to do to me? I mean, I, I've known, I mean, Anas has obviously been a really close friend to uh, us, Daw, as is Jackie. They're both us, Daw members, which was my trade oh, union. I don't realize so there's that. absolutely no way I'm choosing yeah, between you're, the two. You're not going to start fantastic. causing any fights. And then, um, so among your MP colleagues, this yeah. is what I've been asking everyone who do you think's the best dressed? Out of the MPs. Oh, they're all pretty good dressed. I think they're all pretty snappy dressers. I'm going to have to mm. up my game. Um, <laughs> uh, maybe Patricia. Oh, yeah. Actually, Patricia, Patricia Ferguson. looks fantastic. She's always really well turned out and has always got lovely clothes on. Yeah, she always looks um, uh, very um, professional. Yeah, and uh, who do you think's the funniest out, out of the MPs? Well, the funniest? Well, I mean, there's some. People with great sense of humour, actually. We're really lucky. We're a, a really fun bunch. I probably spend more time with Chris yeah. Murray because he's my neighbour and, yeah. and my neighbour in Seas. So Chris and I kind of so, hang out and we've got yeah. like a similar sense of humour. So, so Chris is quite a funny vote. guy, yeah. yeah. And, and who, who's your best pal out of the MPs? Is it Chris? Or I'll probably hang about with Chris and, well, who else? Well, there's so many of us, yeah, which is really, yeah, <laughs> which yeah. is fantastic. I didn't really know a lot of them before I moved down uh, to Westminster. Like I knew them obviously around in the Labour Party, but I didn't really have any friends. But everybody is so friendly and they're yeah. really supportive and helpful. But uh, Brian's a really nice guy. Ewan's a really nice guy. Patricia, they're all yeah. great. they're all really great. So it just depends who you're sitting next to in the chamber that day. And uh, so th this is your first Labour conference as an MP, it but is, have yeah. you been here before at all? Yeah, I was down last year, I was a delegate from CLP last year and I've been a few times as an USDA delegate okay, cool. and as a Unison delegate in a previous life as well, so yeah, it's not my first rodeo. And what, what's your favourite part of the, the conference then? I just love conference. I mean, this year it'll be particularly special, obviously we're back in government, so there'll be a real buzz about the place. Last year was fantastic as well because there was all that expectation. expectation. Um, but I think this year I'll probably top it. I have to say, one being an MP yeah. and being elected is I'll bring a whole different element to it and just the fact we're in government again and what we can deliver. And what are you looking forward to most about what's going on over the next few days? Oh, the speeches. So I'm looking forward to hearing from Angela and Rachel and obviously Kia. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Thank you, Tracy.